I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm gonna start off with an order that I placed off of the Alpine Beauty website. I've got two repurchases and then I also purchased two new products. So the first repurchase is the Ghostberry Super Peptide and Ghostberry Barrier Repair Cream. Um, I just finished up the other jar that I purchased. I believe it was during the VIB sale in October. Um, the moisturizer just lasts me a really long time and I don't have to use a ton of it, and it just does a really good job of keeping my skin hydrated. So let me kind of read some of the info on here. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce, 50 milliliter glass jar. So I dipped into this guy last night, because again, I just finished the one that I had. And it says, a barrier boosting super moisturizer that helps snap skin back to a more youthful appearance. Ghostberry and ceramides sink right in to help hydrate and restore the appearance of a compromised barrier. A blend of 14 peptides, including Snap 8, helps to visibly relax the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Skin makes a radiant comeback, soft, smooth, and supremely hydrated. Smooth on the skin, AM and PM. I use it at nighttime. And again, I don't have to use a ton of product and I wake up with my skin not feeling tight or dry. And I really like what it's been doing uh, for my skin. Like, I still love the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, but I did go, I had to like layer that up. I still, again, I still love that moisturizer. You guys watch my empties. I have used so many of those up, um, but I had to use a lot of product and I had to layer it up. And this just lasts me a lot longer and it does a really good job of making my skin feel hydrated. So I got another one of these. And I love it. It's a really, really nice product. It doesn't break me out or anything like that. So again, that's the Super Peptide and Ghostberry Barrier Repair Cream right there. And then I also got the Wild Huckleberry 8 Acid Polishing Peel. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce 50 milliliter jar as well. And I used up the one that they had sent me in PR a while back. And I also got the one without the little kind of exfoliating beads in it. And that's the one that I am using right now and it's almost done. So I haven't opened this guy up just yet. And when I compare this one to the one that doesn't have like the polishing in it, the base formulation is very, very similar in both masks. It's just that this one for me has got those little scrubby bits and I really enjoy doing the little scrubby exfoliation polishing <laughs> of the skin. So again, they originally sent this to me and I liked it so much that I got it again. So I use it in the morning, typically on Saturday. So I use the one without the polishing ones um, this morning when I took a shower and I pat my face dry after I kind of get the nighttime skincare off with just water. And then I put the mask on, leave it on for five minutes in the shower and then I work it into the skin and then wash it off. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or anything like that. I just really like both the masks from this brand. Um, it says a mask, a peel, a polish. This five minute multitasker combines eight natural acids to help gently dissolve complexion, dulling dead surface cells, while a pillowy bamboo powder and blueberry seed paste acts as a natural polish. Antioxidant packed wild huckleberry and skin refining white willow bark reveal an instant alpine glow. So another fun thing about this is this is based a Wyoming based natural skincare brand. And I don't know for sure if it means like Alpine, Wyoming, because it's spelled a little bit different, but I've been to Alpine, Wyoming, which isn't that far. It's like, I think 50 minutes from Jackson Hole or Jackson, Wyoming. And it's so beautiful there. So the whole vibe of the brand, I just love. And I love the products that I have been trying from them as well. So again, this is the Wild Huckleberry 8 Acid um, Polishing Peel right there. And then a new product from the brand I got is the Plant Genius Align Filling Eye Balm. And I just like the terminology of an eye balm. Um, it sounds really like hydrating. And it says that this guy here is cushiony, fast absorbing balm, helps to instantly fill in fine lines, brighten and depuff, wild actives, nourish and essential vitamins. With essential vitamins, we call it magic is what it says on there. So this is a 0.5 fluid ounce, 15 milliliter glass jar. Um, I've been using this since I got it, I would say five days ago, I think. And when I thought balm, I was thinking it was going to be more oily, but it's not. It is definitely a cream uh, product and you don't need a lot of it. So I've been using this morning and night and I used up the vitamin C Saturday Skin 
um, eye cream that I was using in the morning and kind of replaced it with this guy. And you don't need a lot of product and it does absorb into the skin really well. I still use the NIOD serum underneath this and then in the morning I take a dash of the Josie Marin SPF 47 and I also tap it over the top. Um, but so far so good on this guy. Um, I don't think it would be quite hydrating enough if I used it by itself like for a nighttime deal. So I do like to layer it with the, some products that I've kind of consistently been using for over the years. So, but really nice though. No weird like uh, reaction on the sensitive eye area, no milia or anything like that. So, so far so good on this guy. Again, this is the Plant Genius line filling eye balm right here. And then the fourth product that I bought is the Pore Perfecting Liquid with 2% BHA in Barrage. Um, it says it's uh, Allure Best of Beauty 2023 product. It's got a little sticker on there. So this is a toner. It's a four fluid ounce glass bottle. And it says on this guy here, a leave-on liquid exfoliator that brightens and evens out skin tone by shrinking the look of enlarged pores and dissolving excess oil without stripping or drying. Help soothe and calm to improve skin clarity. So I've been dabbling with this. I haven't used it like morning and night consistently like in replacement of the pixie toner that I've used for a while. This is a BHA so it cleans out the inside of the pores which sometimes I can get some breakouts for so I've kind of been easing into this product because I haven't used the BHA in a really long time. Um, I used to use the Paula's Choice 2% religiously for years and then all of a sudden my skin like couldn't tolerate it like it was just too much for it the couple times i've used this by itself i hadn't experienced any irritation or over drying or anything like that i felt like it was quite gentle um but i'm yet to kind of strictly use it morning and night for a couple days i have to like ease into it i've actually put a couple pumps of the pixie glow tonic and a couple drops of this and mixed it together as well which is what i did um, this morning when I used it. So I'm kind of, you know, dabbling with the products. I do have to be a little bit careful with the acids. <laughs> I've been known to overdo it a time or two. So, um, but it is quite gentle. So that guy right there, again, stay tuned type of product, uh, pore perfecting liquid with 2% BHA and barrage. But again, I will probably buy more new products from Alpine Beauty because I really like their stuff. And then I placed an order on the Josie Marin website because I was on my last bottle of the SPF 47 moisturizer that I've been using for a really long time. I'm really sad that they discontinued um, the great big bottles. I think they were four ounces because I do go through the two ounce bottles quite quickly. Um, and then they got this little whipped argan oil body butter travel size uh, for free, which made me think like, it would be awesome if they did a refill like I don't know recyclable packaging or something that you could refill the glass jars for because again I go through so many of those in a year. I actually bought four of the Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF. Um, again this is a broken record product for me. A two fluid ounce uh, glass jar pump style is what these come in. I also got the tinted version again which I haven't used for a hot minute. Um, this is the original and I wanted to get the tinted version because we're kind of going into summer and I recall when I used to mix them because that's how I use the tinted version. I mix it with the original. Um, it kind of gives my skin this really nice like summery glow. So I did get one of the protect and perfect versions as well. And this is the one that's got that slight tint to it. So again, I like to mix these two products, which is something I had done in the past for quite a while as well. But I just love this mineral based uh, sunscreen, very hydrating, does my skin really well. So again, four of the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47s. And that's everything that I got in that I purchased. I did place a really substantial order on Ulta, but it is not here yet. Shipping is crazy. Like not only has the price of shipping gone up a lot, but it's also taken a lot longer to like get like to me. I remember like placing orders off of Sephora and you know, getting them in like two days. Now it's like, could be over like a week before I get my order. Hopefully you guys aren't getting like bored of my shorter hauls because I haven't had a lot of new like stuff come in. But something funny about that is I've really been able to gravitate and use products that I really loved when I tried them and then put them aside because I was trying other new products. So I don't have such a like influx of new products coming in. So I've been using products that I really, really love and just really enjoying products that I already have that I love. So that was so 
out. I do have two PR packages, both eyeshadow palettes, both absolutely beautiful. So this first one is from Esum. They came out with a new artistry palette. This is the number three Harmony Pigment Palette. So this guy's got 15 shades and each one is one gram a piece or 0.03 ounces. So this is the packaging right here. And these are made in Italy. So this is the third palette from the brand that I've gotten like this and I have enjoyed the other two as well. Both of those were all shimmer. And then I do, I really need to get the other all matte eyeshadow palette. It's quite neutral, but it's very like versatile. It'll pair really well with a lot of shimmery shades that I have. So I, I do want to do that because I really enjoy this matte formulation. So this is again a new one from Esum. It's the Harmony Pigment Palette number three. And their packaging is pretty cool. There's a little tab right here and you push it and then the palette slides out. And these are magnetized inside of the palette. So if you do want to like mix and match and stuff like that, it's super easy to do that. And you just pull it out of the backing as well. And then you have shade names on the back and it's super easy to pop them out. So another reason why I want to get the other neutral one, because there are some deeper uh, matte shades in there and some lighter ones as well that I think would pair with this really, really well. Um, that being said, this one isn't quite a standalone for me because there isn't a light enough kind of highlight shade, but I use shimmer shades anyway. It's very rare that I do an all matte look. So I've been pairing this with my shimmer palettes, so I like Cleona ones or the uh, singles from Odin's Eye and just absolutely adoring the looks that come out of here. This is um, deep enough for me. I think that if you're a little bit darker complected than me and you do like that deeper kind of color in the crease that you'll want to bring in a deeper shade because this is the deepest shade in the palette. I've actually got a dip in here because I've worn it like quite a few times since I've gotten it and again that's the deepest one so I put it through the crease but really really enjoyed the looks that come out of this pairing it with really beautiful shimmer shades. It also pairs really well with the two shimmer palettes that Isom has come out with as well so let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches. They're pigmented, they blend out really well. I find that they're really easy to use. Gosh, my hands are so dry. But, and these next guys. What do I have, eyeliner? <laughs> oh, I think that's eyelash glue on my finger. The looks that I've been doing with this palette have come out looking so like springy. And these guys. And then these last three. Very, very nice eyeshadow palette right there. And again, super customizable. I need to buy the other matte palette so that I can like throw a lighter um, matte shade or either a darker one. And then also you could really customize it with those shimmer palettes as well for like super compact, easy traveling purposes. Box packaging, it says a curated palette of 15 transitional matte shades, magnetic and refillable. Again, this is the Esum Harmony palette number three and a huge thank you to Isom for sending this guy over as well. And lastly, I got in a PR package from one of my favorite indie brands, like favorite, favorite indie brands, and that's Nomad Cosmetics. So they are launching the new Iceland Wild Atlantic Way eyeshadow palette, which is the palette that I have got on my eyes today. Each palette has its own like postcard style card in there which is like super collectible so it says new ireland wild atlantic way intense color palette the destination welcome to a mean deering coastal journey full of towering cliffs verdant hills and tempestuous seas as we adventure along ireland's wild atlantic way a spectrum of irish greens from soft moss and lush bogs to emerald gems and rich glens sprinkled with sea blues and neutral touches of limestone peat and golden flowering plants 11 grand mats and seven splendid shimmers inspired by the untamed and dramatic beauty of Ireland's west coast. I've always always wanted to go to Ireland. <laughs> the cause we are proud to support Irish Wildlife Trust that works to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and protect it for future generations. So again I love I love Nomad Cosmetics. So the box packaging absolutely stunning. 
There are 18 shades that are 0 0.05 ounces or one and a half grams each, which is a super lovely amount of product that you're getting. And it is manufactured at Nomad Labs in China, is what it says on the back of the packaging. So this is one of those ones that's got like a felt, or it is a felt texture to it. Did I already get it dirty? I did. That's because a powder like exploded over here. <laughs> like I had it open and a brush fell on it. Like powder went everywhere so I think that's under eye setting powder that's right there but if you look closely there are like shamrocks in the felt and then here is the back of the packaging one of my shades um was coming out so I'm actually it's this one right here when this was delivered it was in the mailbox and it was really really cold outside which I've had happen um before with palettes with the cold that we get so I'm just gonna pop this guy out real quick so that I can hold the rest of the palette out because I do need to glue it back in the uh, eyeshadow palette. So this shade is the first one in the palette and it's stunning. The shimmer foiled metallic shades in here are beautiful. The mass are really pigmented. They blend really well. And even though it's like a vibrant color story, there's something very neutral about the shades. Like they're toned down, which I Nomad does a really, really good job with like bright colors that are wearable. And I love that about the brand. And they have some really unique, unique colors as well. So let's swatch this first guy here. And then there is a mirror in there as well. And then here are the rest of your shades. They're beautiful. It is a standalone for me. There's an, a light enough shimmer in there. And then yesterday when I wore it, I put this guy underneath the brow and it worked out great. There are some little embossings in there. I think I've kind of ruined quite a few of them already, but. I just love, I love the color stories that Nomad does. formulation is beautiful. Next ones. And then these guys. And then these next guys. And this last shade, which is a blue, but there's a slight little shift of purple in it. I just love, I just love it. Again, that's what the inside looks like. So, so pretty. So this palette launches on Tuesday, March 12th at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is what it says on the Instagram account. So it's coming out in a few days. Uh, absolutely stunning formula and in my opinion they're really affordable for not only how much product that you get but also for the quality that you get as well just absolutely love love Nomad Cosmetics I've said this before but I started out buying their palettes and then I think I bought two loved them so much I bought all that they had available on their website and then they put me on PR <laughs> So a huge thank you to Nomad Cosmetics for sending me over their latest launch. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.